All right, iPhone 14 Pro's dynamic island feature on any Xiaomi, Redmi or Poco device. Now, as exciting as it sounds, it's actually possible via a theme. You don't need to be rooted. You can use it on global devices as well. This is your one step complete guide on how to go about doing that. And it works really, really well. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything. And it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so first things first, I did tell you that it works on global devices as well with global ROMs and you don't really need to unlock your bootloader. So as you can see, this is a Redmi Note 10 Pro working on MIUI 13.0.5 global stable. This is basically an Indian device and you can use any Xiaomi or Redmi or Poco device. It would be working just okay because this is not a hack. This is just a theme that we are talking about. Now, of course, in our global theme store, you don't really get the option of uh, importing themes like the China ROM. So if you're on an unlocked bootloader device wherein you've installed the China ROM and you have the option of import over here, then your method would be much, much easier. But because this is intended for Indian and global users, we're going to follow through the complete steps over here. Now, there are only two files specifically that you will need, uh, rather one file and one app. Okay. Now, as you can see, the themes APK and the Grumpy UI theme MTZ. These are the two APKs that you will need. And this is a free app called MTZ Tester that you need to install from the Google Play Store, right? It's free, so nothing to worry about there. First things first, uh, let's go ahead and check the version of our theme store. As you can see, it is 2.0.1.11 global. So we will first go ahead and update the theme store. We're going to go in a sequence so that it's easy for you and you don't have any issues following through. So let's click on this, click on update. First, we are updating the theme store so that we have the option to customize the theme. Okay, it's scanning here. There you go. So this is done. Now, if you try to install the MTZ theme directly, it will not allow you to do so on the global ROM. That's where our MTZ tester comes into the picture. So let's open the MTZ tester app and select choose MTZ and hit allow for your file access. Now over here, you know, most of the time you would end up in the recent menu. So make sure you first click on the internal storage and locate your file. Now this is the theme that we were talking about, Grumpy UI theme. So let's actually go ahead and yeah, Grumpy UI theme.mtz. Let's click on this. Okay. Now as you can see, it is asking, do you want to apply or not? So let's click on apply. And once again, it will ask you to select the theme. So select the theme again. And as you can see, it's loading. Now, please make sure you follow these steps in a sequence so that you don't have any issues. It says theme applied. You are using Google dynamic color. Okay, great. Let it load for the first time. Okay. Now, as you can see, we've just applied the theme and it is working fine, right? But if you will lock and unlock, you will see that the dynamic island is still not working. So we need to do a few more settings to get it to work. Now for that, what we will do is we'll go to settings and in settings, we will go to themes here. Okay, now let's go to profile. And over here, you see this option, customize theme. And from here, you need to go to lock style. Now, of course, you will see this classic theme because it is overlapping that theme. So click on customize. And you will have a bunch of stuff in Chinese over here. Not to worry. I will tell you what each and every option means one by one. First things first, this is the master switch, right? It will enable your dynamic island. And this second option over here is left or center. Now, some phones have punch holes to the left. So by default, the dynamic island is to the left. All right. Now, this can happen to you as well, even after applying theme and editing properly you might not be able to get it to work. Now, in that case, what you need to do is close all the applications, go to MTZ tester once again and hit apply once again. Select the theme once again, as you can see, it's loading. Okay, now we will go to settings once again. Let's look for themes. 
and let's go to profile and customize theme lock style customize master toggle disable enable and select this second option let's hope it works now okay now at this point i don't really have a lot of notifications going on so what we'll do here is uh, let's actually go ahead and look for say the music player where is our music player here it is and let's reduce the volume all the way down okay now it's playing music so there you go as you can see dynamic island is present and it works like a charm even if you click on it let's go ahead and unlock it go so let's go to the lock screen once again there you go so it's working once again working just fine now it will work for whatsapp notifications as well there are a few more settings that i need to show you but let me quickly show you that uh, it will work for whatsapp as well so let's say i send a hi okay as you can see hi so if you close this you will then have the music player dynamic island coming over here now that is the first part okay now at this point you see that this is not centered around the circle right so it looks a little unfinished unpolished now there is a solution for that what you need to do is you need to go to themes and you need to go to this menu now if you have a device which has a punch hole to the left you keep it here and let me show you that as well okay there you go so as you can see the dynamic island is coming here now let's actually put it properly because we have it in the center right now this right here is the x coordinate this is the y coordinate for the dynamic island now what this basically does is if you add a plus value like plus phi it will move the island to the right and if you add minus phi it will move to the left right so what we have here is let's make it zero because we want it centered and this right here is the y coordinate so if you put a plus value it will move it down if you put a minus value that is a negative value it will move it up so we want to move it up so lay, let's say i put it at minus 18 and let's see if it is centered now bam it is almost centered and it looks perfectly fine as you can see over here so based on these settings you can adjust the location of the dynamic island now apart from this there are a few other settings this is for your battery circle it should be 80 or below and these are again x and y coordinates for your battery circle that you get next to the dynamic island similar rules over here this last option the developer says leave that alone so i would suggest you can leave that alone and this is not really you know something big that you're installing or something that you should be concerned about because this is just a theme that you're using if you don't want to use it you can just go to themes and make it maybe download another theme and use it and you should be good to go now one small downside that i did find over here is that the notifications actually don't work when they are unlocked right they will only work when your device is locked but even when you unlock it this particular animation looks really really nice and the animation is really really smooth really subtle and it works absolutely fine so all the files are linked in the description including the app that you should be using to do this let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye